well. It's been a minute I haven't dropped a video, but um, basically uh, I want to show you guys what I've been doing. And uh, basically what happened, um, so I made a couple videos before uh, about my, uh, I basically caught Facebook trying to commit fraud against me, utilizing their platform, Facebook's manager, like the ad manager. Um, and I caught them in a lie. I talked back and forth uh, through the, uh, the support box or whatever because they tried to charge me for a hundred dollars extra uh, out of nowhere. Like just they just added a hundred dollars to, to my to what I spent, which I did it and I proved myself. I have a video and I proved the whole thing in the video. I'm gonna uh, you're gonna see it at the end of this video, so watch that because that's crazy. I literally caught them. They reversed it, took the hundred dollars off, even after they said I was wrong which I proved that I was right and they couldn't prove that I was wrong but I could prove that I was right and I showed them all the proof so then he deleted the thread which I kept open in the browser uh, the thread was deleted and the hundred dollars was reversed so that proved me to be right and obviously if I was wrong they wouldn't have done that right because I would have been wrong they're not just going to let me get away with hundred dollars that I spent on ad spend but I didn't anyway so um, I've had I had four verified pages. They all got taken away from me uh, out of nowhere. All of my profiles were permanently disabled by Facebook, stating that I violated their policies, which I didn't. Never got any warnings. Apparently, you get warnings before they would obviously completely permanently disable your account. Uh, didn't get any warnings. Um, I don't use the platform unprofessionally. You know what I mean? Like, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on Facebook advertising. Um, I started a social media marketing agency. It's called Sincere Marketing British Columbia. Google that. It's first on Google. I made the website, did the SEO, and I run Facebook advertising professionally for businesses and business owners, and I basically generate them leads and, uh, you know, help them. You know, build their business um, because a lot of businesses haven't really tapped into social media fully yet. Advertising, they might hit the boost button. They don't really, uh, you know, there's a, there's a huge system and process to it. But um, I've done it for other companies and got them leads, which turned into clients, which made them a lot of money. And you know, that's a trade that's worth money, and people will pay you for that. So uh, you can look that up: social media marketing or S M M A on YouTube. Uh, if you're and learning more about that what I do but um so basically Facebook has robbed me of all my work that I've done to brand myself and my companies on Facebook I've spent thousands of dollars on their platform on Facebook advertising and uh you know this is this is what I get in return so I got more to show you to add on to the more uh Facebook fraud and more proof so I'm going to go to Facebook here so basically <coughs> I do, I have an account that still works, um, but I made a, a separate account under my government name because Facebook forces you, forces you to use your government name. If somebody uh, like flags your profile, Facebook will tell you to upload your ID to confirm that you are who you say you are, you are and to confirm your phone number. So if you don't upload your, your government ID with a driver's license, photo ID in two pieces. They will not unlock your Facebook account and they did that to me multiple times. So anyways, I make a new Facebook account to clean it up for my business under my government name following all the policies. So I had to make a new Gmail and everything. So this is it. Corey Wiegand, uh, marketing, there it is right there, at Gmail. Look what happens. I make a new account, make a new Facebook account, follow all the policies, I do everything right. Nothing wrong. This is what Facebook continuously does to me. They blacklist me and like red flag my name or something and block me out of their system permanently. This has been going on for a year. I've had uh, about 25 to 26 accounts, Gmail accounts that I had to make to make new Facebook accounts, new phone numbers. Uh, I've had to go through hell just to try to make a new Facebook account to run my business and give Facebook more money, more advertising money, make them more money. Um, and it stopped me from being, being able to move forward in, in, in my business 
with my agency because I depend primarily on Facebook advertising. So basically, Facebook has just completely uh, taken my ability away to make money in, in multiple ways. They stopped me when they took away all my accounts um, a year ago. I lost my Blue Badge Verified page, Sincere Music, Music with a Z. You can look that up. You'll still see the page. I can't access it, but it has a blue check mark beside it. Uh, the Transition Movement is another verified page of mine, my label. Uh, then there's uh, Emergency Roadside Assist Best Emergency Roadside Assistance page that's verified. Um, Natural Health Canada uh, and Sincere Marketing British Columbia. That's my page as well, and that's verified. Excuse me, and that's for my agency. But look what happens. Your account has been disabled. I just made it. I didn't do nothing wrong. I just made a new Gmail. You've seen that, right? That means that. Gmail I made, it's a new one. And this is what happens. Every single time I try to make another account, they just disable it immediately. I literally have to like it's crazy. Like there was a point in time where I had to make a Facebook account under a fake name. Then they made me upload my ID. And how am I gonna do that? I had to literally you know what I mean? They're, you know, they're doing things to me where they're forcing me into situations where, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not cool, man. This is really affecting my life in a negative way and stopping me from progressing in what I want to do and what I'm passionate about and what I've invested the last several years of my life into, which is where everybody needs to be, which is on social media, which is on Facebook, the largest platform in the world. But they're, it's crazy, man. This is, this is not, this is not good. Um, so anyways, so I make another one. I had to make a whole new Gmail account again. Whole another Gmail. That takes time, you know, after an interview, like I'm sitting here doing this over and over and over and over again and they keep blocking all my efforts. And I had I had a fifteen hundred dollar per month retainer client ready to con to sign a contract with me to run their, their advertising campaigns and generate them leads. And then all of a sudden, boom, I get kicked out of my Facebook account. And then it's like, oh, confirm your number to get back in. I confirm my number, and then it just says, I'll show you what it says right now. It just keeps saying the same thing. So look, now we're going to go into this one. In the one account, oh, watch this. This is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. So I make this account connected to a new Gmail, which is the one that I typed in at the beginning that you've seen, uh, Corey Vegan Business at Gmail. And then um, uh, it didn't even give me a chance to connect my phone number to the Facebook account. And it kicked me out. Medium phone kicks me out. says, enter mobile number. Confirming your mobile number helps you reset your password. It didn't give me a chance to enter my number into the account before it kicked me out. So now it's requiring a phone number, which is this one right here, which is the one that I was going to connect to the account before it kicked me out. I'll go send code. And it won't let me because there is no number connected to the Facebook account. You need to enter a valid mobile number. It's just going to keep saying that because it, there is no number attached to the account. It kicked me out, and I can't get back in because it wants me to confirm my number. But there is no, there's no number. There's no number connected to the account. So I'll never be able to get back into the account. So that's two accounts now. Now watch this. Like this, this is this is. Why is this happening? I'm literally unable to get any of these accounts, and I'm playing by the rules. It's my government name. It's my phone number. It's, I'm doing everything right. I haven't done nothing wrong. Okay. Then watch this. Another account. <laughs> I've made 30, 40 accounts like this, just trying to make an account, and I've waited. I'll wait a week. I'll wait two weeks. I'll wait a month, and try to make another account just in case if it's just accidentally flagging me to make too many accounts or something too fast. But they keep kicking me out. I have no choice. They're doing it all wrong. Their system is is intentionally. <clears throat> this feels like an attack. This feels like intentionally. And I can go into reasoning why why I have reason to believe that and and proof to actually back that theory up. I have four videos I made showing proof of this, and I'm gonna. You're going to see them all at the end of this video, and I'm going to link them in the description, so go watch them because it's going to blow your mind. All this will add up, and you'll be really shocked and, and, and stuck the same way as I am. And, you know, this is affecting me emotionally, and, and, and I just had a $1,500 a month client that was going to sign a contract with me. I can show you the contract. And, uh, you know, uh, 
I'm trying to leverage myself financially and better my life, and uh, I have every right to do so, and I have every right to use this platform. I have not misused it. I have spent thousands of dollars in their platform. I've been verified multiple times. They've already obviously confirmed me to be an authentic source and using their platform professionally and not misusing it, which I would absolutely not do because I need this platform in order to make a living uh, in this day and age, 2018-2019. I started a social media marketing agency that's based around everything to do with Facebook advertising and now I can't do anything with that agency because I need that platform and they're playing unfair. They're, they're, this is this should be illegal. What they're doing is this this is not right. Um, so now there's this account. Now watch this. It gets deeper. This account was working fine and then again took me out. I haven't done any type of behaviors to get kicked off and I know better than that. I have multiple, I've learned, right? I've been doing this for 10 years. I know better not to take away my own platform that's going to generate an income and it has even thousands of dollars in the past. And I've made Facebook more money than I've made from it. So uh, I'm trying to get to that point and I'm very close because all I need is four clients, you know, at $1,500 a month or $2,000 a month retainer fee and real estate agents will pay that and I just talked to one who was willing to pay that amount because you got to understand the value as a business owner <clears throat> depending on the ROI that I'm going to get back which is times two you know through through generating these leads that are going to turn into clients and make them triple ROI back which is return on investment so it's, it's all calculated based off their um, LTV long-term value of their customer and then I calculate that, you know what I mean, and, and that's how I, I base the, uh, the retainer fee. And that's a standard amount. And even he said, yeah, you know, most of the agencies have offered me that that, uh, that retainer fee, and, and it is a standard amount uh, and stuff like that. So he wasn't shocked. But anyway, so all I need is four clients, two, four, six. That's $6,000 a month. And you know what? I can do that. I was I almost had one right there, you know what I mean? And, you know, this is this is what I'm. Um, this is what I do. You know what I mean? Um, I've used Facebook for the last several years. You know, uh, generating traffic and, and selling things online to make money. As an affiliate marketer, I was selling roadside assistance, using Facebook advertising. I was selling health products. Uh, just multiple different affiliate uh, affiliate marketing programs. I was making money from, and it was a blessing for my life. You know what I mean? And, and Facebook took all that away unrighteously and unjustly, and, uh, without reason, without any proof to back up their claims, except other than what their algorithm says. Oh, da da da. You can't. Um, you can program algorithm to do whatever you want it to do. So <clears throat> you can't just keep the blame. Oh, it's the algorithm. Sorry, we didn't know. You know what I mean? Oops. Like we're smarter than that. We understand coding, HTML, and JavaScript and these things now, and how they work, and how platforms like Facebook are created and, and, and designed, and the algorithms and what their purposes are for with the algorithms. So we're smarter than that. Facebook is very fraudulent, and they're, they're committing felonies, and there's about 8,000 lawsuits against them. But let me show you quick because it's about to end. So I try to confirm my number. This is another number I have, and then all of a sudden it looks like you're. If you're using this feature in a way it wasn't meant to be used, please slow down or you could be blocked. I waited a week. I just did it again. Didn't send the code. The code never came. I try again and it says this. I wait another week. Same thing. Try to send the code. Here's my phone right here. Code doesn't show up. That's my that's my phone number right there. <clears throat> There's no excuse for this. It's three accounts. They're intentionally doing this to me. You can see it right there. It's not giving me the possibility to get back onto my account, and I'm doing exactly what they're asking. It asked me to confirm my number. I said okay. It has my number right there. I go to send the code, and it says that, or the code never comes, and then I try to hit resend confirmation code, and then it says that. <coughs> I'll wait a month and do this again, and say the same thing. It don't matter. This is what they've been doing to me for a year, over a year now. And it's all intentional, so please share this video. Um, just want to let you guys know what I was doing. And then I'm going to make another video about my social media marketing agency and what I've been doing with that and stuff like that. I've been getting really close to having some great success with that. And, uh, Facebook is, is taking that away from me unjustly and, and, and just completely illegally, uh, falsely. So, for you guys over here, take care, guys. Just want to let you guys know what I've been doing and what's been going on. Um, and keep trucking